Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and Wemda 6 News Roundup. So it's been a very interesting week for Rainbow Six Siege. We've had a balance and patch, balance and graphs, and we've just got an update to the issues of Rainbow Six Siege by the developers. So this is a page that just lists all the different stuff they're currently working on that they've announced. And it's added some more things into it which are very interesting indeed. So they're going to try and fix the ranked disparity in ranked matches. This is where you have like a diamond teaming up with a copper so that they can play in really low level games compared to their own rank. So they say they're going to look into that and it's going to be a fix for year four, season three. Now that's good and that means it's actually not that far away. Potentially anyway, it could be mid-season, we'll have to wait and see. But they are going to look into it. I do wonder how they're going to do it. They say we have detailed the approximate values that we want to restrict parties to and working on the implementation. Now that sounds bad to me because I don't want to not be able to party up with someone just because of a rank. Like I want it to be a system where if I'm partying up with a diamond, then we go and we play diamond games. We play at that highest level of the highest member of the party. The way this is uh, written makes it sound like I just wouldn't be able to party up with a diamond player and I don't like that idea but maybe that's how it's going to be. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see. I think that Rainbow uses Microsoft's true skill values, and I don't know if there's limitations to that in any ways for party creation or whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And of course, that's used by a lot of games out there too. Another new bit of news is the map pool. So this is going to be changing going into year four, season three. So they say we have too many maps available in ranked. Um, I'm not sure about this one. There's definitely maps I would love to get maybe get rid of. Of course, with the new season, there's going to be the rework of Canal. I expect that will be pulled into Ranked. And maybe they'll be looking to take a few other maps out as well. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Again, that's going to come with Season 3. So not very far away. And I expect that will come with the launch of the new season for sure. Then, of course, we had the brand new patch, which is now out on PC. And it's going to be out on consoles on the 24th. It's uh, the big balancing patch for the mid-season. We've got Glass buff, Jackal nerf, Maverick nerf, Nuke buff, and Shield nerf as well. So quite an interesting patch. You guys on PC will have to let me know how you think it's going so far now that it's out and it's live. If it's uh, you know playing out in a decent way or not. But the exciting thing for me is because we got the mid-season patch now, it means that we're probably going to be getting the brand new Elite, which we think is going to be Smoke. So I'm looking forward to that actually being announced. And I would expect maybe within the next week we'll get an announcement about that. So looking forward to that. And this patch has also come out far quicker than I expected. Now we're only a couple of weeks away from the teasers for the new season. So the patch isn't out like super early or anything like that. But it certainly wasn't on the test server for very long. Then we had the balancing patches, which I did a video going over. Link in the description if you want to check it out. But uh, these balancing graphs are very interesting because of the addition of pick and ban. It just moved the defenders all over the place. It was crazy to see some of the defenders that are usually with low pick rates suddenly having massive pick rates. And they haven't explained exactly how they factored in pick and ban. But it sounds like what they did is that every time an operator was banned, that game was just scrubbed from the records for that operator. And that means that every time, say, Jacko was banned, it would just be considered not a game for him at all. Whereas, of course, if he was banned and no one was actually going to pick him anyway, that would have gone against his pick rate. So I do wonder if maybe they need to factor that differently because it definitely set the graphs off crazily. And of course, Jacko mains, Blitz mains and stuff like that, when their operator isn't banned, they're going to jump right on it immediately and take that operator in ranked when they get the opportunity, which means it's just going to shove up the pick rate. So the pick rates did seem a little bit weird. And I hope for next season they're going to change the way these uh, graphs are done with the pick and ban system. Maybe a different way of doing it. But uh, certainly it's very interesting to look at. And the DLC characters being so low is of course interesting. Although this is definitely a kind of thing that's happening now. Is the DLC characters used to be very powerful. Now they actually come into the game much much weaker. And they get stronger slowly over time. Like you look at Clash, she came in and she was terrible and they had to give her a full auto gun, they had to completely change her up. But of course she still has a low win rate, but so does Maverick and they just nerfed him. So does of course Kaid. And Muzzy and Gridlock are quite balanced. So DLC operators are really coming in at a far lower level now than they ever used to. Which probably makes the season pass seem less valuable now. Like why have that seven days early access if they're not gonna be that good at the start anyway? So it's curious to see how they're 
they're being much more timid about new operators now and uh, curious to see what will happen next season if again we get kind of underwhelming operators or if maybe we'll see a jump back up to kind of gridlock mozzie level where they're reasonable and pretty decently balanced so yeah i'm curious to see how this is going to go on so anyway guys that is the latest us rainbow six siege i expect it's going to get relatively quiet now we'll probably have a smoke elite but i think that's probably going to be it for the most part the new deployable shield still hasn't been introduced into the new game yet it's still in the test servers um, so I'm thinking that's probably been pushed to the season launch rather than a mid-season launch. And like I say, the teasers for the brand new season are going to start in a couple of weeks' time. So things will ramp up after that and go pretty much nuts again as we get our teasers for our new operators. And of course, our canal rework, which I cannot wait for. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.